Dire team pick. There's out the creeps. Now Illidan looking for an Omni slash charge. He's level 11. Tower. So it is quite potent. Arteezy will fall. That's the end of your Aegis. Now Puppy caught by the finger. Top will go down. S4 as well. Shadow Fiend with a double. Now Arteezy on the run. But he gets caught by the Berserker's call. Stunned up and killed. It's a three for nil in the top lane. Wow. Failed defense from Secret. Not a single buyback. Oh, wait. Artor has one, but. Point back. To walk right into it. They put the ward down, but the smoke doesn't get revealed until they hold the high ground. It's a good spot oh, for Nidhi. Whirling axes on everyone. As for Sonic Wave as well. Secret just getting completely destroyed. It seemed like they had an okay setup, but it's a fast four for Nil. Everyone on Ace's pole are still topped off. And now Whoa. Secret on the run. That was just... That died. That was so. the only hero not caught in the cold yeah. was that Queen of Pain. <laughs> exactly right. Everyone else on Secret just got annihilated. Here we'll see it continue. Through. Omni Slash goes in onto the back line. Nice cogs though from Zai to push him back. Attack. Now the rest of Aces Polar trying to follow up. They take it down the range barracks. These Impales are winning the fights. They drop the Laguna Blade onto Clockwork. That'll bring him down. Now S4, no ultimate here Radiance with an Orchid on the way up. I don't think you really want to chase this. I was just thinking the same thing. They will silence onto Sedoi, so they won't be able to, or he won't be able to use the Berserker's silence, call. Yeah. Now G may be in trouble. There we go. They'll get the kill on Lena. Aces Polar over okay. commit, and it's secret. They punish it. Three it's down, and Sedoi with nowhere to go. We'll try to move into the trees. He falls as well. A lot of streaks ended, and that was the fight that Secret needed to bounce oh back here. That's a 4,000 net worth gain. Well, it was just ready and waiting. So well played on both sides, but this go around, it is secret that find the better of it. Oh, S4. Uh oh, is he in trouble? Who's the one that's actually in trouble here? Silence is Lena, but then there's a hex from FNG. Now the Earth Spike hook shot in from Zai. Laguna Blade's available, but won't be able to get it off. Sonic Wave. It's a whiff for the most part, but they still get FNG as well as Lena. Laguna hits Zai, but now he's still pretty healthy. Illidan TP's in. RTZ just clobbers him down. Now Sedoi aces Polar. They were taking this game, and now they're crumbling. A four for nil in the mid lane. Back-to-back -back failed fights for Asus. Secret really turning this game around. That's another 3,500 net worth game. That was a heroic hook shot from Zai saving the Queen of Pain there, because that the Lion chain stun S4 just long enough that Lena was going to get unsilenced and hit the LSA to kill off. That would have been a kill on S4, but that hookshot was perfectly timed when Radiant it needed to to catch fortified. the Lena as she was casting the LSA and oh, back attack. the other way. All right. <laughs> I mean, look at this gold graph. It created that peak there. Um, Grit bouncing back. Behind by about 2k Radiant's gold. They have leveled out the XP. They take in tier 2 tower mid and Hit. It's the right assumption, but here we go. Charging in Illidan, hit by the cogs to get things started. Walks right in with the Omni Slash. It's only level two, but will start bouncing around. Queen of Pain with a pretty good ult. G isolated with a BKB on. Lena gets a taste of her own medicine. A stolen Laguna takes her low, but it's secret that her falling quickly. Clockwork and Troll fall. Now the quad goes down as well. It's Aegis Polar that take the fight with all five still alive. Aegis of the Immortal now picked up by the Juggernaut, and they're not done quite yet. Rubik goes in to finish off the Shadow Fiend, but it'll be the cost of his life. Max gives him the slam dunk decapitation. A one for four when she's all said and done. Puppy will limp back to the base. Down today. That's a the NS4 Radiant's holding on to ten eight scrolls now. The Aces Polar go for the low hanging fruit. It's the melee barracks in the top. Secret have a glyph here, but Radiant they want to use it for the melee fortified. barracks is the question. Radiant's That's a nice way out. They wait for the Omni Slash there. Illidan. Thought he had Zai. Didn't check his inventory fortified. for the Ghost Scepter. A lot of damage going on that tier 3 tower down bottom. This is not a good trade Radiant for Aces Polar. The melee barracks are still standing. Now Illidan's stunned up. Defend? They don't really want to commit to this because he has the Aegis, but now the melee barracks taking a lot of damage down bottom. Sedoi, TP's in, uses the BKB. Arteezy may get punished for this, but S4's here. They use their BKBs. They focus the melee barracks. They will find some success at least. The troll goes down. S4 will fall, but he does get the barracks before he dies. Now back to the top side of the fight. Illidan looks like he hasn't died yet. Just a couple of supports left. They really want to push him back here to keep their barracks alive and make this fight all worth it. Now S4, he will Did buy back another stun onto not? Illidan. There's your Aegis. Can they kill him twice? He's got the Manta for the Orchid here. Oh Hold on to it and I'll actually be forced to use it. Play through, no TP out. Illidan could be in some trouble here. S4, S4 has the Orchid. And he's not even going to use it. Illidan turns, starts chopping that wood. Queen of Pain just barely lives. Puppy down low, but still alive. FNG with the negative urn. Puppy will die here. But what a trade for the Dire team. They hold the melee barracks up top, and they get a tier three and the melee down bottom, plus a pretty decent rate of kills.
The Teasy, recall. they will recall him. Oh, boy. Oh, that was very close. That was a little close for comfort, Parker. They were recalling him just so they could smoke with him as well. Yes. That was not like a let's recall him out of danger. That was let's recall him so we can go for a play. There, there had to be a degree of danger. That everyone yes, on Aces Fall are missing off the map. You could tell Arteezy was turtled up in the trees. But yeah, mostly so that they could rendezvous and smoke. And now they find Sidoy. They force out that BKB right away. That's your ninth second charge. Now the rest of the Radiant sides start to intercept. Sidoy taking a lot of damage on the run. There's your Omni Slash doing a lot of damage to Puppy. Oh, the RNG. It focuses him down. And he's dead. But the rest of the <laughs> oh, it just this gets destroyed. Curl on the run. They still fall to Illidan. There's your telekinesis. What a disastrous fight for Aces Polar, though. A buyback from the Axe. Now a hook shot from Zyda to interrupt the Requiem through BKB. Nicely done. BKB Troll gonna tank the Requiem, but not gonna be too upset about it. Will just TP out. Zai getting left behind. Four staff now. They just want to try to mitigate Sadoi getting any kind of cleanup kills. Kuro with the Requiem slows them down, creates the space for the TPs. Oh my and secret get out. It's a one for three plus the buyback on the Axe who does not find any kind of recovery kill. That is costly. To Kuro with the stolen culling blade, dunked down yeah. his bottom tower. Uh, place to try and fight. Because S4 can follow it up, but he doesn't want to blink it. Kuro with the upgraded oh. uh, uh, Lena ult just wrecks the lion. Look for the Omni Slash. Oh, he gets it. He's going to turn this around. Illidan now taking his own medicine. Oh, to bring him down. And then he blinks out right as he goes down. He's still going to fall to the dunk, but we can't forget about this mid lane. Now a buyback from Kuro. Ace is polar. They're going to try to go all in here. S4 and Arteezy killing Barracks mid. If Secret can hold on, this could be scary for the Radiant side. Buyback now from the line. This could be your final fight. Sedoi isolated. Big Sonic wave from S4. Sedoi will survive the Soul Burn with his BKB, but Lil not going to be so lucky. G getting cleaned up as well as Arteezy has come back to the fight. There's your uh, Aegis of the Immortal. Shadow Team coming back to life. BKBs right away. Requiem right on top of Arteezy, but no, he gets bashed. Oh, the Bash Lord's in town, boys. And Illidan's got no escape. He's trapped in the wheels. Oh. Clockwork gonna keep him in place, and Illidan has got no escape tools. He's already lost his Aegis. He's getting popped around, bonked around, and down he goes. Oh, now, Secret, boy. hold on. That was a very bold play from Aces Polar. They completely skip the Tier 3 tower and go straight for the Tier 4s. They don't even claim one Tier 4 secret. They don't get the mid lane of Barracks, but they force out a Glyph and they clear the Tier 3 tower. Now they make the call straight to the other side, boys. Let's get this lane of Barracks. However, there are buybacks available for Aces Polar. Every hero that's dead right now does have the gold for it. Oh, they're going past. They want to go. They want to try catch someone out here. There were two buybacks used as well. Axe and Lion have theirs on cooldown. So if they get taken out in this little skirmish, they will be diebacks. Secret will be able to do that with just one attack. buyback used on the Reuven. They'll put Arteezy in the front lines. There is some backdoor protection for now, but creeps are on the way. Trying to bait with the troll. Down go the melee barracks. Ranged shortly to follow. Aces Polar, they don't want to use these buybacks unless they have to, but they may be like they have to, yeah. They're has giving fallen. up possibly a third melee racks here at top. FNG and Sedoi hop in. BKB's popped up plenty. Sedoi just not doing enough damage to Arteezy. The life steal is there. Now the Omni Slash on the back lines, taking Kuro down low, but it's a stolen Blade Fury. How unfortunate. Well, Troll Warlord ends up going down. Now the rest of Secret starting to make their retreat. Puppy going blow oh, for blow, but Dyer's what a blinding light! Illidan attack. stuck in the trees. He's Radiant's modeling, he can't move. Are and under Puppy attack. may still make it out. What a play from the old man. S4 meanwhile just finishing Radiant's off a range tracks at bottom. Dyer's they don't get the top lane, but they fallen. still get a lot of damage done. Force out some buybacks, and that is just not buybacks that the Jug wanted to use at this stage of the game. Mm -hmm. Like, he's proactive. He's just trying to cover all his bases. Yeah. Gets the second sentry ward and everything, but... Mm-hmm. Right in that little... Consider a gem, and I guess the gem's back up, but that's just... Oh, they, they considered can't... a gem. He bought a gem, yeah. and then he died, so... It doesn't yeah. have money for another. I guess Lena could theoretically buy it, but... Da, 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 da. Illidan, he's in trouble. Man, Elite gets it started. Here. Now they hop in. He'll use the Mantis Harry early on. Arteezy pops his BKB. Sadoi comes in with a Berserker's Call. Be all right for now. Illidan, though, not going to be okay. He goes down. Now Sadoi getting low. Arteezy takes the Laguna, but Queen of Pain just turns it around. G will channel a Requiem. Finishes off the clockwork, but a one for four already. He's on his own. It's just G, the lone defender. the world. Axe, the only one with a buyback here. He even got pulled into the counter rec room. Kura gonna bring down G. Well, with some help from his friends, Queen of Pain gets the, the last hit. Lena and Axe, the only two buybacks available. She this gets is a buyback now, but that's GG. it. GG. Aces Polar tap out, and I think the right call. No way they'll be able to defend the high ground against this.
An intense game one. That Aces was... Polar Dino put up so back and forth. One hell of a good fight. I think the only big misplay was that potential throne race. Can't even really call it a throne race because Secret came back to defend, but bypassing that bottom lane of Barracks and just trying to go straight for the tier fours, it sort of saved their mid lane because it called back Secret, but it came at a huge cost. They got completely annihilated and then Secret counter pushed to eventually take the yeah. mid lane of Barracks. I think they could have played that one a little more safe, go for the tier three, just defend and extend the game a bit longer. It was just such a crazy game. Like 15 minutes in, Polar were breaching the high ground at top lane, taking a tier three tower. I'm just like, they were behind in the early game. They were getting out farmed. It was like a 3k gold deficit. They definitely had the heroes. They were never really behind behind, but they, they could turn things around with the Blink Axe, with the SS.